I mean, something like Hunter Biden. I mean, if Don Jr. had done what Hunter Biden had done, it would be every night, all night on MSNBC. But the fact that it's Hunter Biden and Joe's on the blue team. See, that's the problem with America. Everything is so binary. Everything that the red team doesn't like goes in the blue bin and vice versa. All right, guys, so we got to talk about Bill Maher, whom it seems like on a weekly basis is putting out takes that I can't help but agree with. I know 99% of his show is him trashing Republicans and Trump, but again, he on a weekly basis also makes some criticisms of the Democrats that I feel is just so spot on that I can't help but share it, okay? And this is one of these takes from Bill Maher that I feel like is appropriate for me to share. It's actually a take that Bill Maher has been giving for a long time as he has been basically criticizing the Democrats and mainstream liberal media for ignoring the Hunter Biden story, right? You remember the mainstream liberal media covered up the story, right? Because they didn't want the uh, story to affect the outcome of the election. Now, Democrats deny this. They pretend that the Hunter Biden story doesn't exist, right? That it's just a Russian conspiracy, but Bill Maher, who actually does have some principles, right? He actually is a classical liberal. He's not a far left woke progressive. No, he says, look, um, this is wrong, right? Um, the media obviously covered up this story and there's a issue with this. Like that's an actual problem, right? With our American media, when they're trying to cover up stories in order to try to affect the outcome of an election, that's a big problem, whether or not you are pro-Democrat or pro-Republican, okay? Uh, you would think that the party of saving democracy uh, would understand this, right? You would think they would be sympathetic to this, but they're not because we know that they don't really care about democracy, evidenced by the fact that Joe Biden and Democrats are making the exact claims about elections that they tell us that you're not supposed to make. But anyways, Bill Maher here is actually going to spar with a liberal activist, Mr. Rob Rayner, who is a liberal activist and a Hollywood filmmaker, right? In which he's going to basically tell Mr. Rob Rayner, who acts ignorant over the Hunter Biden conspiracy, he acts like he doesn't care, that he needs to watch more than just MSNBC. He needs to get out of his liberal bubble. Take a look. So he's saying it's okay to have a conspiracy to get rid of somebody as bad as Trump. It's a little bit of a thorny question because once you go down this road, this is sort of where we are in this country. The other side is so evil, anything is justified in preventing them from taking office. Is it? No, no. You know what's not justified? Using armed violence to try to kill people in the Capitol. That's not justified. Answer this question. Huh? Is it, was it, answer this question. What is was the it question? Appropri the question is, was, was the it press? appropriate to bury the Hunter Biden? You're talking about the press doing the, that? He's saying that's what they did, and that is what they did. They buried the Hunter Biden story before the election because they were like, we can't risk having the election thrown to Trump. We'll tell them after the election. Well, and, and we know for a fact that that's what they did? Of course. You no, don't but follow I mean, this. Saying you you gotta... know for a fact that that's what they did? I don't know what they did. I know, because you only watch MSNBC. No, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Well, then you would know about this. I do know about that. Well, you're acting do, like you I know. Do, I do know about that, and I do watch Fox. But the point is, uh, you, you, we're going to prove now that, they, that, they, that the, the press uh, play, you know, tried to... They're admitting it. They're, the that's press not is a, admitting it. Yes, that's not even an issue anymore. They're saying, yes, we basically did this because we didn't want this to throw the election. Yes? I don't know that they've all said this. And I, I believe I, I, I believe strongly Well, the New York in the Times First definitely did. My dad was a reporter. I believe in it. And I think you have, to, uh, you have to make sure that you're treating people fairly. But I think Rob's point here is that we are dealing um, with a man who used to be the president right now who literally tried to lead an armed insurrection yeah so that guy rob brader he acted dumbfounded right he acted stupid after he got set straight by bill maher on the hunter biden conspiracy right the conspiracy from the media to cover up the story because they thought that it might affect the outcome of the election in favor of trump who we all know that the mainstream liberal media and big tech did not want to win 
the election. Again, this guy is acting like he never heard that before, right? He never heard of the Biden uh, story, right? And he acts like he really doesn't care. And to build Mars point about how, you know, this guy is probably only watching MSNBC, right? He needs to watch a little bit more than that. Um, that's probably why. Because if you turn on MSNBC, you won't hear them talk about it. But again, these are the same people that are crying about national security when it comes to Trump taking some documents from the White House, right? But they have no concerns about the national security issues that may come from the fact that the president and his son colluded to work out sketchy business deals with foreign governments like Ukrainians and in China, right? That's not a potential conflict of interest. That's not a potential national security issue. You have no concerns about that? Yeah. <laughs> Again, this is what I'm talking about here. Because at least Fox News, they'll talk about it, right? They talked about the Trump uh, Mar-a-Lago raid, okay? And what's going on with the FBI investigation, Department just They talk about it. They disagree with it, right? For the most part, they're saying that it's wrong. But at the very least, they'll talk about it. MSNBC won't even talk about Hunter Biden. They won't even bring it up to say, hey, you know, we disagree with this. This is a witch hunt, blah, blah, blah. They won't even do that. They, they will just ignore it. They want their viewers to be 100% ignorant, ignorant of that story, ignorant. You have a whole side of political aisle that is ignorant on the Hunter Biden story because the mainstream liberal media simply chose not to cover it. This guy being dumbfounded is proof of that. It's proof of what bill maher is saying and what really gets me about these guys is that when this is brought up to them they deflect and they say well what about january 6th january 6th i'm more worried about people who were armed and went to the capitol armed with what flagpoles <laughs> right sticks <laughs> right they didn't have no guns what were they armed with what are you talking about what are you talking about because, again, what these people don't realize, what they don't understand because their heads are too thick, okay? They, they, they want to close their eyes and ignore the evils of the Democrat Party and mainstream liberal media. A part of what happened at the Capitol that day has more to do than just with the claims about the election. It also has to do with the idea that even before the election, there was an attempt from the establishment to try to sway the outcome of the election. And the Hunter Biden story was a part of that. See, again, people's frustrations about the election aren't just about the claims that were made after the election. It's also what happened leading up to the election. And because the Democrats are ignoring that, well, that means that they're not actually really concerned about preventing another January 6th, right? Or fixing the problem or restoring faith in our democracy because if they were concerned about that they would address the hunter biden situation again this is how you know the democrats are full of it right besides all the other things they do like you know fund uh MAGA candidates that are actively making claims about the election that they claim that you're not supposed to say along with the democrats they're making those claims as well too if they were actually really concerned about restoring people's faith in democracy they would address the overt what some would call election interference when it comes to the Hunter Biden story, which we know for a fact now because Mark Zuckerberg admitted it on Joe Rogan that the FBI basically pressured Facebook to censor the Hunter Biden story because it may be Russian disinformation, a.k.a. the Russians are trying to interfere with the election, <laughs> a.k.a. we don't want this Russian disinformation to influence the outcome of the election, which is exactly what Bill Maher is saying, right? This is exactly what Bill Maher is saying. He's saying that the mainstream liberal media censored the story because they didn't want the Hunter Biden story to influence the outcome of the election. Mark Zuckerberg confirmed that the FBI approached him at Facebook with the exact same sentiments, right? We don't want this to influence the outcome of the election because it's Russian disinformation. Therefore, you should censor it. And that's what Facebook did, along with Twitter and the rest of big tech and social media, right? That's what happened. But again, these people on the left who claim to be concerned about democracy so much, you're not concerned about democracy when it's under attack by Democrats, right? What, what happened to that? What happened to be concerned about democracy? When it's under attack by Democrats, you don't care. Again, this is not the first conspiracy that Democrats have, you know, pushed, right? Look at the whole Russian uh, collusion thing. Uh, Trump is a Manchurian candidate for Russia. He's butt buddies with Putin, who likes getting golden showers from Russian prostitutes. 
This is a conspiracy that Democrats push. Basically trying to falsely claim that the 2016 election was illegitimate. That Trump was illegitimately elected because he got elected with the help of Russians. They pushed that false election claim for four years straight. And all of these democracy crusaders had nothing to say about it. In fact, they went along with it. Nothing to say about it. But now they want to lecture us on democracy. <laughs> right? While the Democrats are actively making claims about the election. And people like this Hollywood actor, their ignorance on stories like the Hunter Biden story really does goes to show you how the mainstream liberal media and their willingness to cover or not cover certain stories does have an effect on how people perceive certain stories, okay? And certain people, right? That, that's what it does. This guy's a prime example. He's completely ignorant of the situation. He doesn't know anything. That's why, again, he's dumbfounded when presented with facts about this happening, he, he doesn't have anything to say in defaults to his programming of oh, January 6th, oh, right? But hey, it is what it is. All I know is that these Democrats, with each and every passing day, especially as we get closer to the midterm elections, right? And the prospect of the Democrats losing, okay? Which allegedly, you know, they're, they're doing better in the polls, right? There's hope for the Democrats, but we know when they lose. Um, their true colors are going to come out in regards to what they actually really think about democracy. Um, as we all know what they're going to say, if slash when they lose. And it's going to be glorious to sit here and watch the mainstream liberal media and some of these, you know, liberal woke activists, uh, Trump haters justify the false claims from the Democrats when they don't get their way. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.